Hey everybody, Wilter here. I forgot the SD card for the action cam, so I'm going to be using the old cell phone uh, for video, so hopefully this will do the trick. But found this awesome little place to come and do some camping at. It's only $5 a night, but yeah, so here we are. So we got this field and forest split rock dome tent. And as you can see, it's very little. Um, seven by six foot and I got this for a super good deal it was like on a one of those Black Friday sales and it was like 20 bucks so yeah it's like the cheapest tent you can get and it's very small but you know it's just me wildflower and Sophie so it'll be fine it's not uh, it's a zero percent chance of rain tonight so we'll get it set up and check it out see what it looks like Hey Sophie, are you happy to be out here? Looks like you're a pretty happy dog. Okay, we just fired up the grill, heating her up a little bit. Man, we probably can't see the flameage on there, but getting that fired up. Here's our little setup here. There's the self, happy as can be. Yep. My little chair, where I'm gonna do some reading. Haven't quite got all our stuff in yet, but here's this little tent. It's definitely a small one dog bowl but no this is a really nice little place here so we don't have any buns so we just use bread which is just fine with me how do you like that good stuff huh you know too I was gonna say I've got this um, it's a sriracha ketchup blend and it's excellent I've never seen it before but I found it at uh, the Quick Trip and it's very good, so I tried it out on the hot dogs. Awesome. We gotta give Sophie Girl a hot dog too. She's been good. Sit. Nice. Your girl. It's even got this nice little shoe mat there for this cheap a price for a tent. I'd have to say I'm pretty happy with it. So, here we go. Here's our little setup. I got a, another little blue mat underneath there, so. I think this is going to do. We don't. We have. There's a rain flap that I didn't put on it. I don't think we'll need it tonight. So should be a okay. There's our falls right there. Thought I'd let you guys know this campground here is right by. Grand Meadows in Minnesota. So if you're ever stopping by this place, just a little info how I found it. It's on freecampsites.net and there's an app for it, but it just brings you right to the uh, the place. But it's got these little, it's got a little bathroom area over there. I haven't actually been there yet, but you just go, there's a box. Um, you just drop five bucks in there, put your name on there. And there's a three day camping limit so but for five bucks for tent and then I think it's ten bucks if you have an RV and then I think it's ten bucks for electrical but you can look up the information but it is just a really nice site we gotta clean ourselves up a little bit a little filthy but I mean nice picnic table and I mean there's just tons of space of course we're here on a time when not very many people are here so which is actually kinda nice but I'll try to go over over the car so we're just right here, There's a, the lake is here right next to us, and as you can see it's just right over there too. So they also have a little play park area, I guess if I'd have known this I'd have set up the tent over here. Um, we're on the other side of the, the river there, but if you come across this bridge and come over here, there's also this area here, and it looks like you can set up tent. Yeah, this area right here is very nice. There's also little fire areas right here with picnic tables right over there next to the water. If I'd have known this was here before I set up, I think I would have came over here. But at this point, we'll just stay where we are. See the, the car is way back over that way. There's a gazebo. So, All right, let's go down by the water. Beautiful night, absolutely beautiful. 
super calm out here. There's like really pretty much no wind at all. It's like just. All right, I couldn't pass up looking at this. This is one of the weirdest playgrounds I've ever seen in my life. I don't even know what this is. Doesn't seem to be anything connected to it. And um, I don't know. This looks like some sort of medieval torture device. This thing's all sideways and crooked. One side's taller than the other. There's just three poles here. Maybe it's supposed to be some sort of art because a bench with these things on it, I really don't even know. It's all very strange. There's a couple poles here. There's another one of the benches with the things around it. And this looks like some sort of climbing apparatus. Oh, this? Like you're training. Yeah, like that. And then here's some some gymnastics equipment, I think, where you parallel bars. And then there's just a couple of uh, poles sticking out of the ground. So, kind of a very, well, a very strange play area. This is the uh, Ninja Warrior Training, episode one. Nice job. You made it. Nice little ninja. Well, it's official. I am a moron. I uh, set my backpack out when I took everything out of the car. And we left to go on that little adventure. And I forgot to move it. And my SJ cam was in there. And it got crushed. And it's not terrible, but obviously enough, it doesn't work because the battery right here, I can't even get it out. Oops. There. It's busted. You can see it. And then right here. Broken. Worthless. Oh, God. I guess I'll have to get a new one. Very upsetting. Everybody. Top of the morning to you. It's about uh, 6 a.m. So the wildflowers over there looking at the uh, falls while the sun had just got poked up. It wasn't, there was no sun. Now, boom, there it is. So good stuff. All right. Did you enjoy that? All right, so we're just getting everything all packed up. Uh, Slept pretty terrible last night, and as you can probably see, my eyes are all bugged out. And, uh, but you know, it's really nice out here. Go over here. So, we already got the tent mostly packed up when I got this. My cell phone was completely dead, so I had to charge it a little bit before I get the camera fired up. But we're getting out of here. Peace out.